Here we are at Brands Hatch in the Radical. We've qualified in first place, a miracle. I have to say, go, go, go. We've got a nice sunrise coming and a uh, perfect opportunity here to talk about why, obviously, Brands Hatch is the best track in the world. I mean, just look at it. Trees, grass, bridge with a man waving a flag. What more could you want? But I definitely think in Project Cars 2, Brands Hatch and this uh, Radical SR3, for me, it's the ultimate content combo. Nothing to do with us qualifying in first place. Nothing to do with Brands Hatch being uh, essentially our local circuit. But just, I mean, this car, absolutely glued to the circuit. And uh, this track, with its undulations, windy corners, windy, windy corners, death grass at the side, just perfect. Because you've got with this car, you know, it's, it's glued, but it will slide out. But if it, if it does slide too much, you can pull it back. So it encourages you to, to push, make a mistake, catch it, and then remember what you did wrong and try and improve it the next lap. It's just... I think it's the perfect balance of we might be dead and I'm vaguely in control of the car. You know, it's a proper roller coaster circuit and it's a proper roller coaster vehicle for that circuit. Here we go. Holding on to first place still. I'm not sure how. It's all good down there. Big counter steer. <laughs> I love that first corner. You really do have to line up and nail it. Start trying to fly a fighter jet through the Grand Canyon at times. Got to be careful we don't go too wide. Otherwise, get Hitler White and we'll hand out a penalty. That is one downside with this track in Project Cars 2. Though I do think this is probably the best track in Project Cars 2. Unfortunately, with the current penalty system, though, you know, the detection's right in terms of if you go over the white line you, you get the penalty it's overly harsh and then getting rid of the penalty is overly harsh at the moment so hopefully they can uh, I really hope they get a patch out to fix that because that's the only thing that puts a bit of a dampener on this circuit as we go there we go now watch this caught that penalty so that that is a problem in my mind <laughs> just right down there we're okay though we're holding on to it I thought that was a nice catch, and then Hitler Whiting comes out. Passport bitter. And, uh, oh, Papier bitter. <laughs> and uh, we're in trouble. It's okay, we're still in first place, still holding on. Let's try and get some better laps in. Bathurst is nice as well, for sure. Yeah. With this car as well. It, this Radical SR3 just seems super suited to Bathurst. Laguna Seca, Virginia International Raceway, uh, you know, Brands Hatch, what are the circuits? It's good at Alton Park. I mean, this car, this car, I think, is probably the best all-rounder vehicle in Project Cars 2. Hang on, hang on, Mr. Charlie is coming on the attack. Struggling to bite him around the corner there. Let's get on the power a bit. Mr. Charlie looking for a little sniff up the inside there. Still got 11 minutes left. And I've definitely found 15 minutes for sure seems to be the ultimate time for for a quick race. 10 minute quali or 15 minute quali with a 15 minute race seems to allow for enough time with, with these vehicles especially for people to make mistakes but then be able to recover them. But if you're also having a close race, it's enough time that you're quite likely, if you are in a close race, to have a good sort of three or four laps of battling it out whereas 10 minutes you know you're either at the front and you've won or if you do get a good battle it'll only be for like a lap or so and then it's then it's over and the nice thing with 15 minutes as well is if you have a big you know if you have a crap start and your race is over it's not too long to wait for it for another race so radical sr3 brands hatch 10 minute quality 50 minute race happy times Traffic cone, <laughs> got to run it over, that's the rule. Traffic cone massacre. I'd say one downside with a circuit like Bathurst, even though it's absolutely awesome in this car, is that um, the 
because of the barriers at the side of the track, you've got the Monaco um, Macau problem where you have one driver that's maybe a back marker or not that experienced and they lose it or you have an accident at the start and there's literally no way you can avoid it. Whereas if you've got a little bit of grass at the side of the track, it means you don't have this stupid car park effect with modern Tilkian race tracks. But it also means, you know, if a car loses it, they're going to get off the track generally and you can avoid them. And, you know, grass makes tracks ten times better. Everyone knows a circuit with grass on it is a proper racetrack. Well, we've messed that up. <laughs> a bit of cast here there. Now, I can't believe that Tom... Tom Tom 5000, the, the fake dentist, has 1 minute 29. I feel like I'm driving at a moderate pace here. Well, that's nice, sunrise. Look at the clouds as well. So... You know, what was that? What was that lap time? Oh, that's not a good time to look over there. I can't see my lap time on the screen. Probably should have looked at the actual dash. But, probably a good two or three seconds off the alien lap. And who's that? Mr. Charlie! He's coming up beside us. I'll try not to drive into him. He's right on our exhaust pipe. Look at that. Look at him in the rearview mirror. Fantastic. I love the uh, lighting reflecting off the bodywork as well. And the car behind him has his headlights on. Mr. Charlie's turned his off. He doesn't want to blind us. And he's, he's having to defend Antoine Jacquet Potato, who's, who's gone up the inside of him there. It's all right, boys. You keep battling behind me. Allow me to trundle. Whoa, I'm so slow through that corner. That corner is not a braking corner. I think we did that with a little bit of lifting off, to be honest. I'm struggling for grip, though. Might need to tweak this setup a touch. And we've got the Scatman spotter going here. 7 minutes 59. See, we've had enough time here where we've made some mistakes. We're a bit slow. Now we've got pressure from behind, which is fantastic. We're going to hold on to first place, though. It's happening. Two first place wins tonight. I'll be happy. Oh, bits of bodywork. Oh, let's just... <laughs> what? Contact? <laughs> it's not attached to his vehicle anymore. There's Hitler White in action. I probably did damage to our vehicle as well. <laughs> I was trying to avoid it and I just drove straight over it. I don't know what part of a car that was. It's eviscerated now, so it doesn't really matter. Mr. Charlie's got a two second penalty, so if he passes us, Hitler White has saved us. That's the other downside with the current penalty system. Whoa, got stuck in the slide there. Um, if you don't serve it, you get like two seconds. But sometimes when you serve it, you'll use up more than two seconds. So it puts you in an impossible position of working out. Do you do you take the penalty? Or do you, do you guess where to give it up? Hopefully they improve it. Try and get some more. Let's prove our lap time here. We've got back markers now. Pseudo Soul getting into the mix. We'll see what he does. Hopefully he doesn't just park on the uh, race line. There's another thing I've noticed. Having 15 minutes is quite often round about the uh, round about the sort of 13 minute point tend to get into back markers, which gives a chance for people behind the front runners to uh, catch up. It does mix things up a bit. It's a bit of random noise it can be problematic but uh it gives it that 80s formula one vibe <laughs> which is quite good for casual racing i think oh he's right behind us flashing his lights one length behind oh my god it's on a bumper he's gonna be sniffing for an attack about four or five laps left oh dear i've messed that up we're slow oh he could have Mr. Charlie could have pushed one up the inside there. He could have... I think he didn't know what we are doing. Antoine Jacket Potatoes now just passed Mr. Charlie. There we go. We'll try and line this up. Now we've got a back marker coming into the mix again. Antoine Jacket Potato had to back off because we're so slow around there. And... Oh dear God. We're, oh no, don't stop. 
That is not what you do as a map marker. Don't just put your brakes on. <laughs> Mr. Charlie's now behind us. Oh dear. It's like we're doing the cha cha cha, all three of us at the front here. Yeah, bat markers, just drive normally. Just keep keep going. Drive the race in line. I mean, sure, if it's a straight bit of track and it's and you can slowly just move off the race in line, or you can just park your car in the grass out of the way, that's an option. But if not, just drive the racing line as best as you can and the car and don't defend and the car behind you will pass you as if you were a normal racer. And in many occasions, that's the best thing to do. And that's the best way to not get in, in the way of, uh, you know, to, to let someone pass you. We were slow through there. Four minutes, 18 left. We're still good. We've not improved our fastest lap time. Antoine Jaquette and Mr. Charlie battling away. It's the battle of the... I uh, don't know where they're from. I think Antoine Jaquette's in France here. So uh, France versus whoever Mr. Charlie is. Nice driving so far, though. Look at the grass whizzing past. Though, I'm not sure what this blue stuff in the sky is. Ho oh, ho, a bit loose out of that. Right, we need to get... We need to get a new fastest lap here. Three, three tenths down. We need three hundredths down. Three tenths down. I'm going crazy here. We need to improve that try and prove the fastest lap on this one. I think we were slow through Drew's last lap, so we can do this. Underneath the Brands Hatch logo, just in case you forget which track you're on, it's always handy to be reminded. Oh god, the back of the car's lost it. See, that's that's what's nice with this. We totally butchered that, made an absolute flop of it. Back of the car went flying out, bit of steer, happy times. Let's get the speed down here. Now, what I've noticed as well, we were saying this earlier, the... Um, Project Cars 2 seems to uh, be such that you get on the throttle earlier than Race Room and uh, Assetto Corsa. So you kind of have to drive it a bit more aggressively and remind yourself that you can do that. And it seems to be more in the orientation, with this car at least, of get the speed off gently with the brake. You've got to be careful you don't lock up, but then literally hammer the car in the accelerator and push it around the corner. Which is quite satisfying once you start getting in the groove, especially with this SR3. Whoa! Oh god! Flopping all over the place. Oh dear, there goes Antoine Jacques Potato. The battle for first place is. Oh no, he's. What's he doing? What's he doing? Oh, what? What? What was that? I thought he passed this easy and then he got stuck beside us and then these cars just exploded. Oh well. Antoine Jaquette has now been hospitalised. I think we might have, uh, I think we might have murdered Antoine there. I don't know what happened. <laughs> we'll have to, we'll get to the court of muscle after this race. I don't know what happened there. Oh dear. Oh dear. <laughs> Antoine Jaquette, sorry if I murdered you. I don't think I did. It looked like he got my inside and was just neck and neck. And then this car started rotating. Maybe uh, maybe there's like some desync with the net code or something. Really weird. Antoine, straight jacket. <laughs> He's not happy. Now we've got Mr. Charlie back on the tail. Mr. Charlie almost got took out by Antoine Jaquette's pirouetting SR3. Okay, we're going to get one more lap after this, I think. We'll go for a PB. There we go. I think we could just lift through that. I don't know why I'm putting my brake on. Super timid through there. Whoa. <laughs> You've got, be, got to be really careful that the grass... Of the grass, because it tends to pull you off and you really have to steer yourself back onto track very aggressively. Okay, let's try and get a final lap here. Let's see if we can get a, a, a new PB on our final lap. That'd be really nice. There's a bump there on the inside of that corner you have to watch out for. We've got a car going off road here. I'm not sure who that is. Maxwell Swift gets out of the way. He rejoins the track. A little bit dangerous, but it's alright. He didn't cause any accidents. So let's try and get this hooked up on here. On the power. Nice and smooth. 
Slightly out. There we go, we're up on our time. Aggressively on the brake. Oh, I want to get it in. There we go, on the power, a bit of counter steer. Run a bit wide, two tenths up. Come on, PB inbound. I'm going to push as hard as I can. Half a second up now, almost. <laughs> I see even better. Bit of an early shift there. Three tenths up. Okay, so just lift through this, I guess. There we go. Just lift, no brake. <laughs> Felt awesome on the direct drive wheel. Throw it in. Okay, we slow through that. I, I need to have more confidence in the car because it's actually gripping more than I'm intuitively expecting. Come on, you PB. Half a second up. It's an improvement. This is the final lap. First place and a new PB. There we go. Let's drift it on the start-finish line. <laughs> Instant correction from the AI there. Absolutely fantastic. So, yeah, in my mind, Brands Hatch, Radical SR3, I think it's the best. 15-minute races, online with a D safety rating. In my opinion, it's the best car-track combo. The best the best time you can have in Project Cars 2. Maybe mix up with some, some random weather if you're feeling super advanced. But that was awesome. Really really enjoyed that my car's totally bent out of shape though look at the front <laughs> look at the bodywork it's absolutely knackered oh dear it's like i've been used as a door wedge